One of the most efficient ways game developers and filmmakers create assets and environments in their scenes is using 3D scanning and photogrammetry. You know, it is efficient, cost-effective, and fast, but it comes with the problem of data and dealing with it efficiently in your viewport as a 3D artist. So in today's video, I'm talking about point cloud visualization and one tool that can help you deal with it if you are a Blender user. So what is it in the first place? Well, point clouds are basically a bunch of tiny dots plotted in the 3D space. Imagine millions of little coordinates on the X, Y, and Z axes that together form a shape or scene. Each point is like a pixel in three dimensions, often captured by 3D scanners or LiDAR devices that measure real-world surfaces. Now, let me give you an example. A laser scanner might shoot out beams and record points whenever the light bounces back from the object. Do this millions of times and you get a point cloud, which is a digital copy of the world made of dots. If you also record color for each point, the cloud starts to look like a floating 3D photo or a floating real scene. You can think of each point as a tiny digital probe that captures the shape of every nook and cranny, add RGB color to those points, and it is like painting each dot to create a rich and lifelike 3D scene. Or I can put it like this. Point cloud visualization simply means displaying and interacting with these 3D point collections on a computer or a 3D software so we can make sense of them. And it is one of the first steps to turn a 3D data into a full 3D model or 3D environment. But even on its own, a dense colored point cloud can look almost photorealistic and carry a ton of detail about the scanned object or environment. Point cloud visualization isn't just a new tech, it is actually actively transforming how various industries work in 3D. You know, different industries, from game dev, VFX for film and TV shows, architecture, construction, and many more. So now, let me give you some examples. For instance, the game development industry is actually finding creative ways to leverage point clouds for more realistic environments and VR experiences. You see, with 3D scanning tech becoming cheap and even available on smartphones, game developers can now scan real-world objects or maybe entire locations and bring those point clouds straight into a game engine, which is changing a lot of things. On the other hand, filmmakers also jumped on the point cloud bandwagon. And here's the thing. If you've watched a big blockbuster lately, chances are point clouds played a role behind the scenes. In film production, crews often laser scan movie sets and locations to capture a 3D point cloud of that environment. And this is a lifesaver for VFX artists. But why? Well, because with a precise point cloud of, say, a city street or room, I mean room interior, the VFX team can later intersect CG elements that precisely match the real camera perspective, and the point cloud essentially provides a digital set that 3D software can understand and 3D artists will later alter to make whatever they want. Architects and designers, on the other hand, are embracing this technology too, simply because it can bridge the gap between the real world and their design software. So, by scanning existing buildings or construction sites with laser scanners or drones, they will get an accurate 3D point cloud of current conditions. As you can see, this S-Build snapshot is incredibly useful because it captures every wall, beam, and bump with high precision, which helps them for things like planning renovations, restorations, or maybe verifying construction as it makes progress. Anyways, if you are a Blender user and you try to import a laser scan or maybe photogrammetry point cloud into a 3D program, you know it is not always straightforward. But there is a very special and interesting add-on called point cloud visualization, which can fix that. With it, you can load up to hundreds of millions of points in your 3D viewport. Yes, it's only limited by your system's RAM and GPU. Other than that, you can navigate smoothly. Under the hood, the add-on cleverly handles data so that points don't bog down Blender's native geometry system, so you will get a lot of performance and flexibility. The tool also supports all the common point cloud formats, including PMY, LAS, LAZ, and many others. So whether your data comes, let's say, from a drone or maybe scanned from a LiDAR tripod, you can likely bring it in. And it even has its own optimized routines for reading these files fast, 
But what can you actually do with it? Quite a lot, it turns out. So once you've got that massive scan of, say, an old building or maybe a detailed landscape in Blender, the Anno gives you tools to clean and tweak the point cloud. You can cut away sections, apply filters to thin out or voxelize the cloud, slice it, color adjust it, remove outliers, basically perform editing operations that normally you would need a separate software to do that. It also provides various shading modes for visualization that is. You can view point clouds by their intensity, elevation, classification, normals, you name it. This is super handy for analysis or for aesthetic representation, you know. And for 3D artists, one fun feature is that you can even generate point clouds from your own meshes or scenes using the add-on. You can think of it as going in the reverse direction. For instance, you could simulate a LiDAR scan in Blender, which shoots out points to create a point cloud of your 3D model. This can be great for VFX, I mean for making 3D scenes look like a scanned point cloud for a stylistic effect, or for testing how a scanning device might capture your scene. And when you do need to get traditional geometry, the add-on can convert point clouds into mesh objects or volumes on the fly. This means you can take the dense cloud and turn it into a surface model right inside the blender, preserving details like color and even normals. So essentially it bridges the gap between raw point data and standard 3D assets. But why is this tool such a big deal? Well, because it slots right into the existing workflow and it makes it even better. Let's say you are an environment artist, in game development, VFX, or whatever. You can now easily mix real-world scans with your hand-modeled assets and use the later scanned point cloud as the base for that level or as a reference to that model on top of, without leaving Blender. And if you're into visual effect or animation, you can import a scan set or maybe a character and line up your shots in that exact scanned environment or even render that point cloud itself for a cool techy visual. And if you do architectural visualization stuff, the add-on lets you bring in an as-built scan of a building and then literally build your design around it in 3D, which I think is gonna help you a lot when it comes to accuracy, because this stuff is really important in this field. The add-on has proven especially valuable for folks doing photogrammetry. The thing is, you don't have to rely on separate, maybe expensive software to handle point clouds, Instead, you can do it right here in Blender, and even use Blender's powerful tools like geometry nodes or sculpting in conjunction with your point cloud data. So guys, if you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, also please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.